While Cade Cunningham has shown everyone why he entered the season as the top freshman in the country, and Jalen Suggs has wowed NBA GMs and fans alike, Jalen Green and Jonathan Kaminga have waited their turn in virtual obscurity. I mean, the only part about that that's difficult is just watching them play. Um, just because we haven't really played that much games yet. But I'm happy for it. All those people that you name, I'm just excited for them. I see them killing. I won't say it being good for me, but as long as I keep working my working on my game, getting better every day with my teammates, by the time I get that opportunity to go out there and show up, everything will just switch and I'm gonna get the attention that I want. Green, considered by many as the top prospect in the class, was the trailblazer of sorts, the first to choose the NBA's new G League Pathway program bypassing college in the overseas route. Green received $500,000 and Kaminga also got compensated well, but for them, it wasn't about the money. My goal is to get to the NBA and the standard route is an amazing route. College is an amazing route. But for me, I feel like taking the G League route was getting a step ahead of the game. Um, I'm playing against grown men early, um, learning NBA terms early. The one thing that made me choose the G League, it's just getting ready to become a professional at the young age. Some other stuff that they offer us that people didn't know about like how to just be outside basketball, the way you gonna take care of your money, take care of the people that's coming around you. So we get those type of classes every day and it helps us to just get better uh, outside basketball every day. The reason why NBA Commissioner Adam Silver started the program still isn't clear, but Ignite head coach Brian Shaw says it's so that guys like LaMelo Ball and RJ Hampton don't have to go overseas if they want to bypass college. What it was intended to do was to give an alternative uh, route to the NBA. We were starting to see increasingly increasing numbers of young guys who, you know, school is not for everybody. and. Um, you know, a lot of guys go and to college and they go for one year, you know, the, the really talented elite guys, uh, and then they come out and, and enter the draft. I think that there's enough talented players. The majority of guys are still going to go to college and they're going to take that route. But this is not an open door policy where anybody can just come. They were hand selected um, to, to come and, 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 and explore um, this route. The players have stayed in an apartment complex and trained in Walnut Creek, California for months, practicing against former NBA players such as Amir Johnson and Jarrett Jack. The bus picked them up each day at 7.30. They received treatment, lifted weights, watched film, and practiced. One thing they didn't have to worry about, classes and grades. The biggest thing that I've learned so far is just patience. Um, in high school, I was getting away with just moving fast and just slowing down, getting to my spots, uh, running offense, knowing personnel. This pathway program is the first of its kind. It's a pilot program. We're kind of uh, learning as we go, um, but it gives these young guys an opportunity to surround, immerse themselves in an NBA type setting. And so we just wanted to surround the guys with as many professional people who've been been there before and provide a blueprint for what it takes both on and off the court uh, to, to play in the NBA. The Ignite, which also features Michigan signee Isaiah Todd and one-time UCLA bomb point guard Dacian Nix, will finally get to play actual games this week down in Orlando at the G League's bubble. It'll be an abbreviated 15-game season, but guys like Green and Kaminga will finally get to show what they can do on a national stage with games on ESPN. Well, this hasn't been quite what they signed up for, they don't have any regrets about snubbing college. From where am I right now, I don't think there is any disadvantage. It's a great place to be at. Like, if you really want to focus in your life, basketball, career, be around people that know the game, be around the NBA, because this is part of life that everybody wants. So it's really a great place to be at. I'm not saying that if they want to go to college, I won't say that, oh no, I don't choose college because of the jelly. But at the end of the day, I'll say that I'm here right now. And if anybody thinking about choosing this path, it's a really good idea. I like this situation because it's like we're isolated. 
and you have nothing but basketball 24 7 and you really got to find a love for the grind find a love for the game and that's going to help you take that to the next level i mean i don't really focus on like the attention outside of basketball too much i mean it's cool but that's not why i play basketball like at the end of the day like i play basketball because i, I love the game i'm not really too focused on the media and stuff because that time will come and when that time comes that's when the lights are on and we're gonna see who shows up when the lights come. Thank <laughs> you.